everybody, it's Nick and welcome back to part 2 of my Quest for Glory walkthrough. Okay, we left off by just leaving town and we have 25 out of 500 points. Next thing, things we're going to cover are a couple of, uh, I'm going to talk to some more people and we're going to solve a, cu a couple of puzzles, help out a, uh, well, an an animal, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna help out a talking animal. Okay. In the meantime, let's go ahead and progress. If you go forward, you're gonna come across this area right here. Okay. So first things first. This this is the healer's hut. So here we go. Let's go. Uh, you gotta knock in. Uh, knock first. Okay, these potions right here, uh, you can steal them, but uh, I think the first time you, if, you can, if you steal them, she won't uh, kick you out, but the second time she might, So, but I wouldn't mess around with it. Anyways, you see the same bird over here. Alright, so we go. Oh. Cool. I don't think we can climb up there. Don't be nosy. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and talk to her. All right, good. Well, uh, I I know just uh, where that rig is. Healing potions heal you. Vigor potions restore your stamina. Power potions restore your magic. Undead. Uh, potion gives you, um, or it's kind of a solve, it'll protect you from wraiths and ghosts, and then there's another potion called, called Dispel Potion, but we'll cover that later. No kidding, I think you will die if you come in contact with them without protection. Be sure to ask about spell components, if nothing else. Yes, two healing potions per troll beard. That's very good. So in theory, once you start fighting trolls, you'll never have to buy um, any health potions.
She hates thieves, hintity hint hint. Don't steal from her. Okay, that's it. I'll... You can buy stamina, healing mana, as you can see, much cheaper than the other one. Okay, let's go ahead and leave. Right. Uh, you can't really. Uh, I thought if I thought if you um, well, it doesn't matter. You have to climb up here and take that nest. Now, as a wizard, of course, we can use a spell, a fetch spell. However, I didn't buy it yet. So, oh, yep, you see that little glint. Uh, but I will. Of course, uh, go go buy it and use it. All right, let's actually backtrack a little bit and see if Bruno's around. Nope. Eventually, you'll find a guy here ch chucking a dagger, and he'll um you want to talk to him, but I don't know when he appears. It's gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and buy some spells. Actually, it's a good idea too. Anyways. As a wizard, you need to um, buy these spells, and it'll give you some um, uh, puzzle points. So let's go ahead and do so. However, I don't have much, so I probably won't be able to buy everything. So I want, I want to get the fetch spell. That's good. I only have, you have five silver pieces left. Uh, so I'll need an open spell, but not just yet. Not just yet. Okay, let's exit. I'll backtrack here eventually and get all the spells. I'll probably do it in this video. Alright, since we're a wizard, we're gonna do it the wizard way. So fetch. Expertise is 5, and you will use 5 magic points. And here it is. Uh, you take a lovely gold ring from the nest. Cool. There you have it. Another way. Remember, we have... Oh yes, experience, and you see intelligence has went up, and then magic points went down, and stamina went down a little bit. Also, let's talk about experience really quick. Experience counts for what you've been doing, how long you've been playing the game, and it acts as kind of an indicator on where you are in terms of your character and how tough he is. Eventually, after like say you get experience to like 400, tougher enemies will come out and start to uh, attack you at night. So basically it's used as that kind of indicator. And if say you've, you're at the experience and you're like 2000 or 3000 or whatever, then Enemies like the, the purple sauruses will not appear as frequently, which means if you're a fighter, be sure to kill them on the first couple of days. It's a really good idea. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, no answer. Okay, so we kind of uh, effed up a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to handle this anyway, so... There's a couple of things I wanted to handle, but I totally, totally messed up the timing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, as you can see, this town gate is closed. And you can't get in there. And it's locked by night. However, you can attempt to climb it. I won't be able to climb it because my... Um, and your climbing went up and then eventually, if you practice this long enough, you can just hold enter and he'll just do this. And then I, my climbing should have uh, went up 14, and look at that strength went up, agility, and vitality. This is a really good. Uh, it's a good way to raise some attributes, and you can just got you can just rest uh, for say 60 minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and to the right here, and then another screen, and then we we'll go up. And then to the right. And here's Broggy.
Okay, let's go ahead and talk to him. So it's either 20 or 40 apples. We need this jam for later, so... Oh, I think I recovered this. Oops. I believe you can actually fight him without him killing you if you're tough enough. But I'm not gonna attempt it as a wizard. So. Alright, so it looks like I need more. Well, that's life. I'll come back. It's been, like I said, it's been a while since I played the game, so. In the meantime, let's go backtrack. And we should come upon. Yes, here we go. Don't be an ass and help him. <laughs> okay. And uh, there you have it. So let's go ahead and backtrack here. So. A couple of things to do. Let's go ahead and uh, check my... Okay, so we can start and to practice some more climbing. So I'm just gonna hold enter and he'll uh he'll keep on climbing until eventually he'll climb the tree. There we go. And it should be around twenty or oh, nineteen. Okay, not bad. Let's get his climbing up to twenty. Ah, what's going on? Is my I... what? I was able to climb it. Why is it saying it needs a lot of practice? That was weird. All right. <laughs> cool. Climbing at thirty. Strength, agility. So great way to raise up your strength, agility, and vitality, and an occasional lock or two. And look at that. Experience uh, went up to forty-two. So. Once you start raising attributes, your experience will go up. Now I believe we'll be able to climb this gate. Um. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. Oh, there he is. There's nothing to do here. Okay, that's nice. You needed about 36. Okay. Now then, I'm going to come on over here. And you can see the little glow, and I'm gonna actually save my game here. And then I'll show you what happens when you go in there. So if you display sinister, um, display seems sinister at night. Some strange object is glowing on the, on the other end of the alley. And as long as you stay right here, you can back uh, back out. But the minute you come here. So, uh, if you run, you die, you can pay them the money, but I only have five silver. So here, what happens when you pay him? All 
Alright, and now check it out. I have no money. Well, what if I don't learn and get back there? <laughs> For your sake, you brought us some nice, shiny new silver. I do not have any silver, so I am going to take this puppy out and then do this. Hey, okay. they can kill us, but I can't. What? Okay, I'm just gonna make a run for it. Okay, here it is. Irana missed this spot. Perhaps you shouldn't explore dark alleys at night unless you are looking for trouble, or you should look in your manual to learn how to deal with thieves. If you're a, a, um, a thief, you can make a, a thief sign, or I think you can show them your lockpick and they'll let you go. But anyways, here's the death. Just go ahead and do a restore, and then that's that. Okay, now there's a couple of things we can do here. I believe the Heroes Inn is, is still available. So let's go ahead and go in here. Here we go. So we can talk to him. Should be here around supper time. What? It's it's middle of the night. Okay, so I'm too late. Okay, now, I don't really have enough coin to do anything here, so I'm just going to go ahead and exit. Now, not much else to do here right now. Uh, so, all, what I'm going to do here is just... I'm going to save my game and see if I can sleep in here. I doubt it, though. Oh, actually, you know what? No, no, I'm going to exit. Nothing to do here. Let's get the heck out of here. So, here's what I'm going to do actually this is the castle alright um, there's nothing really here I mean you can't do much here there'll be a I think a soldier you can talk to and maybe not even that this is where you'll fight the weapon master and, and you can talk to him here is the stables where you can work out, and you can actually sleep here for free. Well, not for free. Later, I mean, um, after you sleep, you can, you'll, uh, you'll wake, you'll get waken up in the morning, and you'll have to work. Um, so that's that. However, 
you can come on over here and just do sleep all night. Huh. Alright, let me try this again. Alright, maybe I can't sleep here until I've worked. Alright. I thought I thought uh, I could sleep here, but I guess I might still have to work first. I've never slept here before. I mean, um... In, in the in the first parts of the uh, uh, the early parts of the game. Well, anyways, I'm pretty much wouldn't say screwed, but you know. So this is the another area we'll we'll discuss. But in the meantime, let's go to Irana's piece. This is the area. Uh, we're gonna be very careful and just go straight and hope we don't fight any monsters. And we're gonna go to the right. Oh, hostile intent. I'm going to make a. All right. Here's the thing: if you have zero stamina, you will die. And you see, this is how easy it can be to die, by the way. So, yep. I'm actually. I'm not gonna go. I'm. I'm not going to um. Replay anything. So let's go in here. Let's go back. I totally forgot about, to, I really forgot to mention, if you have zero stamina, you will die no matter how much health you have, So if you if you come up acro across an enemy, so definitely um, sleep here. Remember I mentioned, this is the area, this this wall here you can climb, but you'll get ambushed by, by those thieves, so you don't want to climb this wall at night. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a dash for it. Oh yeah, that's the ray, the the the, the manta thingy, and up, and here's Irana's um, Irana's piece. This is very safe place to be, FYI, and great place to practice magic before just before you go to sleep. Also, flowers you can pick them up. can pick two bouquets and then that's it this is the flowers that you will um can sell to the uh, healer okay so let's see if we can can I use magic here I should be able to. Even though I can't actually use it, uh, my magic's going down. And let's take a look here. Yeah, I raised some magic, some vitality, intelligence. Not bad. Nice. Okay, so here is a very safe place to sleep, and we can actually also eat a fruit. And that also um, gives you some points here. And it recharges you. I don't know, what does it do? Gives you some stamina, maybe? Or, oh no, it's, 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 it recharges your hunger, right? So, free food so that you won't, you know, die. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and sleep all night. And yes, you do get points for sleeping in here as well. Okay, here we are. All done. Should be refreshed. Everything's good to go. All right, moving on. To backtrack, you know, go to the left, and then go straight down. Oh, there was a uh, brigand fire. Um. All right, eventually we'll talk to this dude. So, first things first, want to get some money, right? Let's go ahead and do this thing. A 
let's go, go ahead and give her the ring here. And it's also the flowers. <laughs> All right, good for you, dude. All right, got some healing potions here. Very nice, actually. Probably should have given her the flowers first. Now I have to do this damn thing over again. And of course you get a one point here. Alrighty then. That is that. So we talked to the healer, we uh, uh, got a ring and gave her the ring, and then I want to do in, talk to Bruno, but he's not here, so eventually he will be. So I have 6 gold and uh, 15 silver, so we can go ahead and go buy some more uh, uh, spells. Here we go. So I have Fetch. I want to get the open spell. I don't think I have enough for the flame spell. Okay, nope. Damn, things are expensive. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to Hilda and, and get some more apples. I'm not really sure how much I need, so I'm going to buy like 40 of them. You know what? I can always use some more. It doesn't matter. There we go. That's probably overkill, but we can eat them. So. Alright. Let's go ahead back to Broggy and uh, bargain with him. So two screens to the right, one up, and then one to the right. All right, so yeah, that was that was overkill cuz I gave him the paltry amount and then he uh freaking probably didn't count or and then I, he took all my stuff. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. We have one glowing gem. Okay. Like I said, it's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, that was a goblin. Let's see if we can backtrack and fight him again. I think the the area here is safe area. I don't think you can get attacked in, in here. It's a little dead end. Oh yes, sometimes you get this weird occurrences here. It's hilarious. Dinosaur trudging grumpily to work. I'm glad I'm glad we caught this. This is pretty cool. Alrighty. Next, we let's go ahead and go into the castle here and talk to Carl. I think his name's Carl.
Okay, so this is like a really annoying uh, progression. So did I cover this? Oh yes, I did. All right. Well, I think I. Yep, this one's good. Covered this already. Um, guards. Okay, we covered that already. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, go in here. All right. Enter castle grounds. So I believe there's. Uh, Back there, I can talk to these dudes. <laughs> Don't get me mad. Oh, too late. All right. Here's where we can work at the stable. I don't pay you to rest, get to work, no! Ah, oh, the things you do for money, right?
<laughs> okay, that's it. And check it out. You get some strength, vitality, and this time I got some intelligence as well. Or maybe maybe it was from something else. That doesn't matter. Uh, good place to work. I don't think you can work um, consecutively. I think it's like once uh, once a day. And oh yes, the weapon master. We can talk to him. <laughs> Just doesn't want to be friends. Alright, so you can't really pay him. You definitely require a shield. Alright. I don't think you get points for fighting him. You may not even be able to. So let's get the heck out of here. Alright, so we covered this area pretty much. Let's go ahead and leave and come back here. And this is Heinrich. We're going to talk to him. You want to ask about the leader and you get some more points. Okay, enough of that. Let's go ahead and see if Bruno is there. There he is. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna save my game here. You have to pay him some money in order for him to talk. So there's really no reason to go to ten gold. I don't even know what he offers for 10 gold. Hell, I don't even have 10 gold. Um, I think 2 gold will get you some stuff. So let's go ahead and talk to him.
Hmm, the warlock laughs a lot. Mm hmm. They hide it in the graveyards. It's under one of the tombstones. You can see the thieves if you go there at night. Yeah, don't uh, listen to that. Okie dokie. That's that. Here. You know what? Actually, I'm going to save my game. Again. Mage uh, 1. I'm actually going to restore to make sure that... Sometimes I... It didn't register me talking with Bruno. Yeah, I see. For some reason, I've su I'm supposed to get some... Maybe if I give him a silver coin. And yeah, let's do one silver. Hmm. I'm quickly skipping through all this. Okay, let's give him two silver. Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and restore to mage one. So, yep. So maybe... Oh, there it is. Uh, you get two points after you um, uh, leave and he talks to you like that, that, that way. So that worked for me then. So I'm checking. Let's see. Castle one stables. Yeah. I pretty much covered everything here except for talking to the. going to the Heroes Inn. And that will be handled. In the meantime, well, let's go back to Irana, Irana's place. There's a spell here. And I believe if we click open. There you have it. Oops, stone has been removed. Cool. as well pick up some more stuff here all right we got our spell pretty neat what's next to do here there's really not much uh, we can do some exploring might as well Now there's a cemetery somewhere here. I believe it's here and then down here maybe? And to the right? There's a cemetery. There's the um the root, the mandrake, but you can only pick it up in the middle of the night, but this place will be swarming with ghosts. Now
he, this is where Bruno said is the uh, the entrance. However, if you're not a um, a non thief character, you won't be able to enter it because I'm not even sure what to do. I mean, I suppose we can cast like open. The spell has no effect. So, fetch is there anything? Yep. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> no one less, no more. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so, yep, this is the graveyard. Don't come here at night, you'll die. That's pretty much it. Alright. This area is all the way to the left from that little garden area. Once you click the, uh, on this, um, Oh, you see uh, the goblin popped up. You go there and click it, and you get to fight. Oh, he's coming at you. One. Uh, and then, actually, I'll show you how, how to handle this. The zap spell. The weapon is now magically charged. Doesn't actually show you there, but this hit will do extra damage. So, here's the goblin. Fighting. You pretty much there's um this is the zap spell. This is oh this is the flame dart. You can run away and this is dazzle I think. And then you can switch to your dagger and then um you know fight like a thief would, you know, dodging, stabbing. And you can just you can just do zap spell like all the time. And then. Uh, that's a good way to build up your um, skills with, this, uh, with your spells. All right, let's go ahead and loot him. All righty then. So we got some weapon use, we got some magic, some intelligence, agility, vitality, luck. Good, good place to practice. As a matter of fact, this is the best to practice and get money. You exit the area, rest for 60 minutes, come back here, fight more uh, goblins. This time it's going to be two. You exit, come back, and this time it's going to be three, and then four, and then five. And I believe the max is six, um, I, I think. And then most of them will have gold. I mean, uh, silver, excuse me. And uh, like I said, great place to level up your skills, to get money, and it's just a... Uh, it's also, f uh, they have funny messages whenever you click on them. Other than that, I want to see... Okay, I have some stamina, which is good, because I don't want I don't want to run into a monster and then die, so... To exit, you just go to the right, and here we are. It's going to be a safe zone here. So now, what I'm going to do... Let's take a look at the time. I mean, afternoon. Let's see if I can rest more. Yeah, sometimes you can't rest for longer periods of time. And I suppose what I'm going to do here is practice some magic. Open. And yes, it is annoying because you have to click this over and over again. This is why I'm not going to show uh, me grinding for uh, for things uh, or farming money or anything like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look. Uh, good stamina, not not much health. Let's see if I can rest again. Nope. Let's go ahead and I'm going to practice some climbing here. Best best place to practice climbing. I think eventually, though, after like you get to climbing to 60, you won't, you won't be able to get any more until you have to practice somewhere else. Uh, da, 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 da. Not bad.
let's do some let's rest some more and I want it to be sunset approaches yes this is what I want let's go save our game so I want to talk to the Abdullah Du guy and I think he'll be here there he is perfect so I already talked to Shamin so let's go here Oops, covered that already. Okay. So, a couple of things to do first. Let's go ahead and give one of our rations to this dude. Okay, then let's go ahead and order some food for us. Oh, this is the best kind. <laughs> I got the points for ordering food, and I didn't even need to uh, pay. Awesome. Uh, you know what? Just in case, even though there's no need, but I'm going to buy, buy myself a drink. And I'll show you how the uh, animation looks. She'll leave, and then she'll come back with a tray. And so let's go ahead and talk to him. You have to click your hand on the um, the tray to actually eat or drink, and then um, so if you were to order food, it'd be the same way. So let's continue our conversation here. All right, where we talked about the guards, so wealth. So he's kind of like self-pitying and wallowing and 
I'm like, come on, David, pull yourself together. A little arrogant, too, or a lot <laughs> arrogant. Okay, that's that. Now, you also need to sleep here, so we'll go ahead and do that. Five silver, it's a ripoff, but whatever. Well, this better not crash on me. Oh boy. Oh, okay, there you go. Phew. Yeah, I was not too happy about that. Oh, it didn't even restore my full me to full health. So yeah, not not the best place to sleep here, actually. But we got we got the points, so that's fine. Okay, well, thanks so much for joining me here. Basically, we just covered uh, some more uh, some you know parts of the um, the area, the castle, and. Uh, Fought some goblins, went to Iran Iranus Peace, got another spell. So we did, we accomplished good today, uh, today in this video. Okay, until next time, this is Nick, and I'll see you guys.